Hi friends, welcome back to Ophthalmology for Undergraduates and Postgraduate Beginners. Now, I am going to talk about personal history in case presentation. Personal history is going to help you in a long way, in a large way to get into a proper diagnosis and also manage the patient. In the personal history, we are going to ask about the dietary habits of the patient. Patient may be a vegetarian or a patient may be a non-vegetarian. He may be a pure vegetarian. He may be a non-vegetarian who takes non-vegetarian dishes along with vegetarian food often, frequently or occasionally. If a patient is a pure vegetarian, as you know, vitamin B12 is very rarely present in vegetarian food. The patient is prone for vitamin B12 deficiency. If suppose a patient is a non-vegetarian who takes non-vegetarian dishes frequently, he is said to be craving for non-vegetarian food. In such a situation, when a patient is craving for non-vegetarian food often, he is likely to consume non-vegetarian dishes from many places, many different types of outlets. Those patients might take improperly cooked non-vegetarian food for them neurocysticercosis or cysticercosis of their body is very very common. Next is the bowel and bladder habits. Bowel and bladder habits, how far it is going to be involved in ophthalmology is a big question. But I want to tell an example for you. Females usually avoid okay, going to the restroom when they go out of their houses. So they try to restrict this micturition urge. They try to restrict this defecation act when they go outside. Because of that, they are prone for multiple genitourinary problems. Coming to the smoking, you should ask the patient whether he is a smoker. Patient may say, I smoke cigarettes, cigars, whatever it is. You should ask them, how long he has been smoking? How many numbers of cigarettes or cigars he has been smoking? You know that so many years of smoking, so many cigarettes smoken, sm smoken every day may lead to pulmonary carcinoma. Similarly, smoking for a very long duration can lead to toxic amblyopias. Toxic amblyopias means it will affect the optic nerve of the patient leading to permanent visual loss. Next is the betel nut chewing. Betel nut chewing or tobacco chewing. If the patient is not smoking, sometimes he may have a habit of betel nut chewing. Betel nut chewing can also lead to oral carcinomas it can once again lead to toxic amblyopias. Next is consumption of alcohol. A patient may consume alcohol always. He consumes alcohol often. He consumes alcohol occasionally. When you should brand a person as alcoholic is when a person is consuming alcohol always and he is always under the influence of alcohol. Only those people you should call them as alcoholic. A patient who consumes alcohol every day for 50 ml or 
a patient who consumes alcohol either whenever their friends get together or they go for a function like that if they consume those people should not be branded as alcoholic whatever it may be a person who is consuming alcohol you should ask them how long he is consuming alcohol how much of alcohol they he consumes every day all those things you should ask once again alcohol can lead to toxic amblyopia it may affect the optic nerve in the patient so that will help you in coming to a diagnosis next is exposure to sexual workers or multiple sex partners a person who is getting exposed to sexual workers or multiple sex partners he is likely to contract sexually transmitted diseases sexually transmitted diseases like syphilis hiv so many other conditions are there chlamydia all those things are there so if the patient gets those infections he is likely to get ophthalmic problems as well as systemic problems then you should ask is there any other individual habits the patient is having some patients may have an habit that is individualized for them individualized some may okay they take certain plants so they often take some herbal plants or medicines they think it is safe for them that may lead to a problem in a patient so all these things we should ask to the patient who has come to you and by recording all these histories you may come to a conclusion when you are going to arrive at a diagnosis thank you we'll see you once again in the next video